Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This was not a planned video, but since I'm gonna be doing fries tonight, I thought I would just go through all of the steps that I do to make some really, really nice fries. I'm outside on my side deck at my house right now. This is my entertainment table. And so without further ado, let's get started on making some really good home fries. In today's video, I am using russet potatoes, but you can use any potato that you enjoy. If you don't want to peel them, you can also use a little scrub brush and you can just scrub the skins and then rinse them off. And that is fine as well. And I am going to be using a deep fryer today and I do have my deep fryer right now set to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'll come back. Once we finished peeling our potatoes, I'm going to use a very inexpensive french fry cutter. This is about $12. You can find these on Amazon. And I'm just going to pop the potatoes in there. And very quickly, they make really nice french fries. And for my fryer today, I'm only doing a few of these. Just to give you the idea. There's a little piece there. And there we have it. Let's get all of these out. And I've got a bowl here. What we want to do is we want to rinse all of the starch off of the potatoes. So just load them up into your bowl. And now I'm going to rinse these about three or four times to really get all of that starch off. If you don't get the starch off your potatoes, what's going to happen is when they're in the fryer, they're going to stick together and you don't want that. So let's go do that next. So I'm very lucky that I have a little bar sink outside on my deck and we'll just use that and rinse off our potatoes. And the first thing that you're going to notice when you start rinsing them off, you're going to notice that the water gets a little bit cloudy. You can see it's milky in color, and that is the starch that is on the outside of each little potato stick here. So you just wanna rinse these, and then just drain off that water. And you wanna do this a few times until the water becomes rather clear. So just get it in there. And we'll do it a third time. And you can see now the water is much less cloudy. Just get your hand in there, don't be shy, and just move all of your fries around to make sure that all of that starch is being removed. And then just get all of it out. And then for good measure, I'll just do it one more time. So I think that's four times that we've done it. So we'll just get it all like that. And then I'll stop the tap here and you can see that the water is pretty clear now. And then we'll just pour that off. And then we are ready to head over to the fryer. And I do have my fryer right now for the first stage. This is gonna be the kind of like the first little cook because we're gonna do two, two fries on it. We're gonna do the first one at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. That's basically just to actually cook the French fry. And then the final stage will go up to 375 where we're gonna give them a blast of really high heat to get a nice crisp crunch and a nice golden color on our fries. So there we have it. So now we'll head over to the fryer. In today's video, I am using vegetable oil for our fries. So I'm just gonna grab all of these and just get them in here. This is a digital fryer, and I do have it set to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. So just get all of those in there, and then we're just gonna drop them down. Even though you see nothing happening, don't worry. 
you're not supposed to see a lot of frying action at this point. I'm gonna turn this up. I just wanna set a timer on here for 12 minutes. I like 12 minutes. And what's gonna happen now is the potatoes are gonna start to actually cook instead of fry. So we're gonna let that go for the 12 minutes and then I'll come back. So I just thought I would come back very, very quickly. So they've only been in just over two minutes here. You can still see that we're at 225 and you can hear some bubbling going on here. So we know everything is doing very well. These are now just going to really cook up. And when we bring these out, these are going to be soft to the touch. You could actually eat them at that point. But then we're going to increase our oil to 375. And then we're going to give them that blast of heat, which will give them that really golden color and a nice crisp on the outside. So we'll be back in nine minutes. So we're coming up to our 12 minutes. And there we go, that's 12 minutes. You can see all of the boiling and everything. We'll bring that out here because this is more boiling them than frying them. So now I'm just gonna let these sit here for a second. And you can see if I take my tongs here and I just go in very easily on this, look, look at how easy this just falls apart. You can see that these are very, very soft at this point and this is exactly what you want. At this point now, I'm just going to push my temperature right up to the maximum, which is 375 degrees. So now this is going to allow the potatoes or our French fries to sit here and just rest for a second. This is going to take about 10 minutes for this to come back up here. Once it's up to 375, then we will drop these in and I'll show you how quickly these turn into the most amazing fries you will ever taste. While we are waiting for our fryer to get up to our 375 degrees Fahrenheit, I just wanted to tell you that all of these potatoes are fresh from my garden. If you want to see how I grew these, these are russet potatoes, you can check out my new channel on YouTube, Grow Like a Pro, and you can actually see me growing these from little eyes of potatoes. I have lots of lots of videos there on all kinds of different things. I am not a professional gardener, but I do love to garden. I also wanted to mention that I have some regular mayonnaise here and I've added a little bit of chipotle to this, which is really good. I buy this in the powdered form. It adds a really nice kick to this mayonnaise. If you've never tried chipotle, try it out. It is amazing with french fries. So there we have it. We're going to be using that today. All right, we have achieved our 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We are ready to go. So I want you to notice how our potatoes look at this point and watch how quickly they become fries to get that really nice golden brown color. I'm just gonna drop this in. We'll just let that go for a few seconds. What you're seeing here is the moisture that's being extracted from the french fry. So I'm just going to lift it up and you can see how quickly the fries are starting to get golden brown. So now I'm just going to put them back in and let them go. So this process will only take about three minutes or so. So this is about three minutes later. We'll give them a check. And I'm happy with them at this point. They look really, really good. So I'm just gonna let them drain and then we'll serve them. Now that these have completely drained, just get them into a big bowl. There we go. Get a little bit of salt on them, or maybe a lot of salt. And that looks good. And these are ready to serve.
And then we've got our little bit of mayo with chipotle. And there we have it. So here we have it. We've come to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. And look at these fries. Whoa. Really, really good. That's it, and I'll see you next time.